cheeky Mike in the corner. I see you. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reacting to and analyzing a song from Tick Tick Boom. I will be reacting to and analyzing Come To Your Senses by Alexander Shep and Vanessa Hudgens. This is a version that they've done together, I believe. I haven't watched this version, but let me be honest with you right now, I have watched the film several times and I was aware of this song beforehand. So this won't be a reaction to the version in the movie, but this will be, however, a version of them doing it together in the same room, I think. I don't think it's live, but it's. I love the song. <laughs> if you are new to my channel, then thank you very much for being here. I'm Jennifer Glatzofer, a musical theatre performer and a vocal coach. I will be stopping and pausing and talking about what I'm hearing vocally. I love to talk about the voice and that's what we're gonna do here. If you wanna learn more about the voice and want to see some more behind the scenes footage, go over and check out my Patreon page. I'd love to see more of you over there. Thank you very much for all the support already. Let me know if you've watched Tick Tick Boom in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Otherwise, let's go. The music in this whole musical concert is so good. You're on the air. I'm underground. Signals fading can't be found. Already there is so much vulnerability to her voice, to the sound that she is creating because of that added breath. And she's kind of hopping between a clear vocal fold closure with that clearer tone and then adding that aspirate onset as well, especially on that long note at the end. Cat. So much breath on there. Uh, it's wonderful. Can't be found. I finally open up. For you, I would do anything. It's got a lot of vocal fry as well, isn't it? But you've turned off the volume. Just the volume. Volume. The volume. Very leaning onto the R vowel. Sorry for stopping in the middle, but I just had to uh, hear that again. But you've turned off the volume. Ah, lovely. Just when I've begun to sing. Senses, defenses are not the way to go when you know, or at least you knew everything's strange. You've changed, and I don't know what to do to get through. I don't know what to do. Oh, so this is cool. They are in the same room. This is really nice. Those intervals are so. Tricky. Come to your senses, defenses are not the It kind of like goes down. I think I'm missing, I'm doing something a little bit wrong there, but. Come to your senses, defenses. Fences. We're really leaning onto those eh. I love the rhyming patterns in this as well. But to get back up there, you can see that it's like, I obviously, I just need to learn that little section a little bit more. But it's so, you have to hear that note at the top and Feel that note in your mouth before going for it. Otherwise, it will be really sloppy. Da, come to your sense. Come to your sense. Come, come, come to your senses. Defenses are not the way. I think that's around. Because the intervals are so kind of far away and it kind of bounces back up, comes back down, you need to make sure that your body is involved here. And Alexandra's doing such a great job. It's so delicate. We're not forcing that sound to come out by adding volume. Our whole body's engaged to make sure that breath support and it's so wonderful Come to your senses, that little soft clip it's so lovely go when you know, or that at least you knew. must be so good to say everything strange you've changed and i don't know what to do to get through i don't know what to do Nice. Wish I put on a show. Love is passe in this day and age. How can we expect it to grow? You as the night, me as the queen. On the screen 
Vanessa's doing a great job. There is, like, you know, obviously High School Musical. We know her voice from there. I think she's come a long way. I really like her voice here. It kind of goes into this kind of higher placement than what we heard with Alexandra, but she had these lovely open vowel sounds at the bottom. Nothing is squeezed. Everything seems really easy on her voice. And again, they're both really playing with, uh, both of them are really playing with their phrases, actually. We had that nice static moment and it kind of came off of, and then we came on. Uh, Alexandra had a moment in the chorus as well that she kind of paused and then went on. There is so much storytelling in these words, right? musical theatre, hello. But it's so well done on both parts. You're static on the screen Come to your senses, the fences inside Are not for real if we feel as we did And I do Can't you recall when this all began It was only you and me It was only I love that swap. It was only you and me. It was only me and you. It was only you and me. It was only me and you. I just had to go back and double check. I heard that correct. But yeah, it, I love that swap of the you and me. It was only me and you. Because it kind of puts a different meaning to the words. It was only you and me. It was only me and you and it's just so lovely it's just so simple but it's so nice alexandra is going for a little bit more stronger here so we're getting into that mixed quality we can't hear those distinctive come to ya and we can't hear that flip there right what we heard before was it going from the chest voice to head voice come to ya and had that distinct flip and a little bit of that breath quality in there as well here we're going for it a little bit more stronger really in the mix really getting that blend lovely job. Alexandra has a really lovely forward placement sound. If we were to put it somewhere on her face, I'd bob on her teeth. Like it's right there. It's so forward and it's so very contemporary. So the difference with Vanessa here, you, I think it's a little bit further back. It's like her tongue is slightly getting involved. Nothing bad with that, but can you hear the different placement of the two singers? Fusion, it's kind of like lingering a little bit here, but it's it sits so comfortably in her voice. Filled with confusion. Lovely. Cheeky Mike in the corner, I see you. Uh, sorry, I just paused right in between there. But yeah, on that illusion, was it an illusion? Anyway, we went on that nice ah uh vowel as, as Vanessa kind of belted up a little bit more. Like, you know, we had a little bit of that belt style come through. Lovely on that ah uh vowel, just getting enough chest connection there. We've replaced this instrumentation. a lovely bit of visualization there she's literally talking to herself in the mirror that i was not expecting that that was really nice and can you tell here like each time we hear this uh the chorus part come to your senses all this little part it get it brings something different she's kind of getting a little bit more angry here you know like <laughs> listen uh and it's it's that desperation in her voice as well that's getting her that cry getting her that whine the right amount of connection passionate 
rhymes. Did you see that? <laughs> Let's see that one more time. I love it. I love that rhythm change in the in the phrasing as well. Yeah, and on that me, it's kind of going towards a little bit of a squeezed me. You see, do see? It's kind of like the tongue is kind of wanting to get involved. I can hear it a little bit. But lovely little vibrato at the end. That was nice. I love that Vanessa is kind of leaning towards a sense says part before she actually needs to. So it kind of, we get a little bit used to that uh, hearing it sense says rather than senses uh, because they then both obviously open up to a higher belt air set and air obviously has a little bit more of an open shape, meaning that we can connect to our chest voice a little bit better. Come to your senses, come to your senses, come I'm just to your senses. Relaxed. cute <laughs> yeah I mean you can just see and hear that relaxed kind of placement that Vanessa has at the end on that ah vowel and then you hear a lovely little kind of run from Alexandra both of them such great placement and it's it's so it's nice seeing it actually together because I don't know if, if you haven't watched the movie it is sung like this but they don't, they're not singing it to each other. It's completely different uh, situations. That's all I'm going to say. So it's nice that both of them are kind of singing it like this because they, it's the same person. I, again, I don't want to go into it too much if, in case you haven't watched it, go watch it. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed that and I liked seeing them work together. Well, I hope if you haven't watched Tick, Tick, Boom yet, this has kind of encouraged you to go and watch it. I know this doesn't really say much about what the movie is about, but I think you really should go and watch it, that is. <laughs> yeah, I... I really like how this song grows and those rhyming kind of patterns that we do hear, they don't fall where you necessarily think they're gonna fall, but then when you do hear it, it just makes sense to fall where it does fall. And it is really nice to see them work together in the same room in this kind of setting. If you liked this and want me to react to other Tick Tick Boom songs, like I said, I have watched the film, but I can probably talk a little bit more about vocally, what they are doing, and also musically as a whole. Do let me know in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell button and the thumbs up button. And I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye.